What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's predictions for Australia versus Ireland, the second test. Before we get started, another big thank you. Yesterday was a thank you to all the new subscribers and a big welcome and today is another massive thank you. Another milestone. I've just passed half a million views on this channel, which for me is unbelievable. Last year this time, I hadn't even reached 10,000. This sporting journey has really changed this channel and I couldn't be more grateful and thankful to each and every one of you. Big thank you. But yeah, let's get back to business. What a game we got installed for us this weekend. I think we've really got, this is gonna be another highlight of the weekend for me just because of where the two teams are at. And why I say that is because Australia, ladies and gentlemen, are back in the rugby business. They're looking good, they're looking strong, they're looking motivated, they're looking powerful, um, and passionate, passionate, passionate. The anthem was strong, electric. You could see the players just singing their hearts out, which is fantastic. Ireland were obviously rattled, they were tired. You know, they've had a, a busy, busy, um, past three, four, five months of rugby, six nations, then the European Pro 14. So they've been really busy and um, you can understand the tiredness, but it is international rugby. Teams need to get back to the, the, the spirit of things, the rugby of things, if that makes any sense at all. But they've got to get down to business because it's international season. Now I read a comment today, which was very interesting. One person said, Australia are developing their test team to look good for the championship and this year growing and developing their team whereas Ireland are more progressing and developing their team for um, the World Cup understandable young team developing changing things and it's a valid point and we can clearly see the difference in both teams Ireland have come a long way guys and they've got young talent that are truly incredible Australia have a magnificent team that last year were nowhere to be seen and then slowly starting to progress and last weekend for the first time I can confidently say Australian rugby is on the rise which is amazing. I, I'm a big supporter of fantastic rugby. No matter where they come from, what country they come from, I just want to see strong rugby and what makes me really happy and excited is when a team is, is in a struggle or it, like down and out and then they build and get a game momentum and then just improve it's really amazing to watch and it's so good to see as a sports fan because that's really what you want in rugby you don't want to see drummings like a hundred no you want to see rugby games yes of course as a south african fan i would love to see the springboks smash england but I don't want it because I don't want their team to be destroyed. You know, you want competitive rugby. That's probably what I should be saying. Competitive rugby where all teams are given a chance to excite. And then we get treated to amazing games like Australia versus Ireland, South Africa versus England, which is great to see the first half of even New Zealand and um, um, France, as well as Wales Argentina, another smoking game and great result. So that's what I like to see. And for Australia to have come such a long way, and I've got to give credit to Michael Checker. Um, he's definitely transformed that team. Pretty much could have got fired any time last year, but Australia rugby stuck with him and, and, and held it out, which looks like it was the right thing. It's paid off. Um, I'm not a fan of the guy personally. I think he's a grumpy old fart, but he's a great coach who has his moments and he's clearly changing this team and done his homework on Ireland. But we can't count out the Irish because they're a magnificent rugby team who just have that never give up attitude as well. They've come such a long way. Also, they too were down and out many years ago, but they've come on to another level of rugby, which is outstanding they are champions um, and and are number two in the world they've worked so damn hard to get to where they are which is magnificent to see um, and i couldn't be more than happy for them as well both teams i love i know both anthems off by heart okay islands call um, and then australia's anthem i love both i get goosebumps watching it um, i sing it in my head and I, if i'm alone at home i sing it out loud 
but it, it's this awesome atmosphere and that game is building up to be quite a cracking test series just like England, South Africa, even New Zealand, France and there are other games. It's really another level of rugby when we watch international rugby. It just excites me. Things to look out for. I know um, there was an article in the news about, I think, Keith Earls maybe not having could could be on a fitness test worry um yeah Keith Earls a fitness doubt for second test in Melbourne that's going to be a big loss for them um his experience his talent um, is going to be missed hopefully he can pass it because I want to see a solid Irish team taking on um Australia for me personally this weekend I want to see Johnny Sexton if he's fit and able I want to see him starting um because just because of his caliber, Johnny and Connor work so well together. Not disrespecting the other fly off, I just think you've got to have the best in the world if you want to win. And this is a test match they've got to win. If they slip up, they lose the series, and they're not going to want to do that, especially with the current form they're in. So for me, this is a this is a big ask, and I think Joe Smith needs to look at that. Uh, for long as well needs to start on. Um, just because of his impact as well, fantastic player. And then obviously the other CJ Stander, Amani, all those great leaders, Stockdale, need to continue their form. Um, obviously last weekend was a loss, but I think this weekend is going to be a clean slate and that goes for the, all the teams playing this weekend. It's a fresh mind, it's a fresh state and they're going to go forward with a different attitude and mind frame. And I think we're going to see an absolutely outstanding rugby match this weekend. It's, oh, I can't wait. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking of it. It's really going to be amazing. Now, why are you here? You're here for predictions and my predictions are coming. Last weekend, we saw Australia win. This weekend, personally, and last week I said I go Ireland to win. I was clearly wrong. But this weekend, um, it's a totally different game totally different team I think we're going to see um, attitudes within we're going to see Australia continuing hopefully continuing that great form we're going to see Ireland coming back and bouncing back and wanting to prove the critics wrong and the people who have been chirping them and all that stuff so they're going to want to come back firing and personally for this test match I'm going to go Ireland to win by five points um, I just think they're going to come in with a different mindset, attitude, frame. Joe Smith's a great coach, and I think he's going to have just another system plan in place. Maybe last week he wanted to test a few things, hence why some of those players were on the bench. Yes, I know they played for Leinster and some of them and were tired and all that stuff, but now they need to come back and let's see how they do. If they're in, we could have, a, well, we sh my opinion, we will have a, an Irish defeat. Uh, Irish win, sorry. Um, and then next week, then the following week, it sets up a final. And that is going to be hard to predict between Australia and, so, and um, Ireland. So for me, Ireland by five this weekend. I think they're going to they're gonna just be just a tad bit stronger. But um, hey, Australia, they continue that great form that they con had last weekend. They could do it, but one thing I must say, I hope the referee calls a good game and we don't see stupid or weird calls like we saw last weekend. I'm not too impressed with that ref last weekend, so I'm hoping for a better game um, with regards to refereeing and just let the game play, let these players run, let these players do things that we never thought they'll be able to do because they hold the key to a successful game and if the ref blows every five seconds, then I'm not going to see it. So it's going to be interesting. Bernard Foley needs to get, get his kicking boots on. Johnny Sexton, if he's playing, same. It's going to be exciting. Genya versus Conor Murray. I mean, oh, David Pocock, is he going to continue his fantastic form that he's been on? Michael Hooper, I mean, we've got, we got two international teams with fantastic players. And I can't wait to watch. So, my prediction, Ireland by five. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Who's going to win test number two? And who's, who are you looking forward to seeing play this weekend? And that goes for both countries. It's going to be a cracking weekend. 
that's going to do it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all future uploads and also click on the bell icon so you can also keep up to date with when my videos get uploaded thanks so much for watching guys have a great week further and i'll see you tomorrow for another video stay safe never give up cheers